Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a uh, Christmas themed little drone. This is a little uh, like a Santa Claus Lego uh, Whoop by Esheen. It's the Esheen, see the model number here is the Esheen E011C. So that's what it actually goes by, but JJRC I believe actually makes this. They have one uh, with a different model number, but it's the exact same drone. A little Lego guy you build. You can stick them on top and fly them around the house. And it looks pretty cool and it flies actually quite well with the, you know, they call it a brick figure, but the Lego figure on top. It also has something that I've never seen before. It plays music, there's a little speaker in here. And it plays a couple different Christmas songs and it's pretty loud too. When you're flying it, you know, the, the noise of the, of the propellers, you know, can kind of wash it a little bit, but it's still pretty darn easy to hear even when you're flying it. And that's probably why they you know, made it so loud, um, so you could hear it over the noise of the motors. Um, but it's really nice for the holidays. I mean, I think it's pretty cool to fly it around the tree when you're having a Christmas party or something. I think it would be a pretty big hit of the party. But I don't know about you know being a, a year-round drone unless you wanted to try to disconnect the speaker because you know that speaker can be a little bit annoying otherwise. Um, you can take them off, and if you take the figure off, then um, you know you're going to reduce the weight. I didn't bring my scale up here. I should have brought my scale up to uh, show the difference in the weight. Um, I didn't think to do that, but it's not a huge deal. Um, if you take them off, you're going to increase your flight time. And any little uh, whoops like this, every gram of weight matters. So if you don't, you know, if it's not Christmas time, especially, I would say take this guy off. And you'll increase your flight time. It also has a called a uh, brick mode, which um, I think it puts the motors into a lower power state. You know the whole system, so they don't have to spin as fast. And if you do that, combine, you know, you do it with the Santa Claus figure off, and that will give you even a longer flight time. So if you're taking it off, enter into that mode, and I'll show you how you do that in just a moment. But with him stuck on, I recommend you put him in the middle here. If you put him in the front or back, it seems to put it off, you know, off balance. So put him in the middle so you got the weight distrib distributed equally across it. I'm getting a flight time of about four and a half minutes out of him with him attached, which is not too bad considering the extra weight. Um, but it had a rather long LVC of about a minute. So at about three and a half minutes, the light started to flash, but it was able to fly around just fine. So a little bit of an early LVC for my liking. You know, I'd rather have a more like a 15 second LVC on these little guys. It comes with a very small little LiPo, as you expect. It's a 30C uh, rated, um, 260 milliamp hour, of course, 1S LiPo. I'm gonna go ahead and, and plug it in here, and it's gonna start playing that Christmas music so you can hear it. And we'll also show you the front and rear LEDs so you can see what the colors are for orientation. And there it plays the music, did you see? That's pretty loud. It's got red in the front and blue in the back. So that's how you know the orientation. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that so I can be heard. Otherwise you're just gonna hear the music. Like it's pretty loud, but my wife really liked it and my little baby, uh, my youngest one, really got a kick out of listening to that music. Um, so pretty neat, I think. Let's go ahead and we'll go over to the spare parts here. It comes with a full set of props. Now I lost the prop because one flew off, so I had to replace it. So I just need to find it, it's in my basement. So that's why there's only three in the bag. And a Phillips screwdriver if you need to take it apart. The charger that it comes with is pretty standard. You know, it's a USB charger. Um, the red light that goes on and off. And this takes about you know half an hour to charge. These small little light bulbs, thankfully, don't take a whole long, uh, don't take that long to charge. So that's always a plus. And you can easily find um, this type of connector and these size batteries, and they're probably about a buck, maybe less. So very easy to load up on extra batteries. Let's go ahead and go over the controller. It does not have altitude hold, so that's going to make it even better for a beginner to to. Uh, you know, learn flight skills, even though it won't be as easy to fly right off the bat for a beginner without altitude hold. It's got your pitch and your roll trim. What would be the yaw trim is your two rates, so you can click between the two rates. Um, I don't, I think the yaw increases with the rates on that, I'm pretty sure, but don't hold me to it. We'll uh, 
test set in the flight review. Just drawing a blank on that. If you press in on the left stick, that uh, enters you into a head, uh, actually just one key return, I should say. If you press and hold it until it beeps, that enters you into headless mode. If you press in on this right stick and hold uh, for three seconds, I believe it is, that will um, enter you into that brick mode, which is that lower power mode that uh, you use only with the Santa Claus removed, and that will give you a longer flight time. If you just press it, quick then it does your 360 flips in the direction you want to flip it's not real good at 360 flips with the santa claus attached which you expect you know it's got that extra weight and the weight's extended up with the high kind of center of gravity with the weight up high so it does them but it you know it does lose quite a bit of altitude because of that extra weight so if you take the santa claus off um, it's going to flip a lot better i reviewed the e-sheen lego version without just it was a little Lego guy. It looked very similar. In fact, it was identical, just not Santa Claus. And I think it's pretty much the same drone. If you look back to that review, you can see where I, you know, I fly it with and without the Lego figure and do flips. And you can see how much more agile and how much better it flies without the Lego figure. But even with the Lego figure attached, it's, it flies better than I expected. So I think that, that covers everything. So we'll go ahead and we'll move along now to the flight review. All right, so I'm outside here in my garage with the uh, Isheen Santa Claus whoop. I'm gonna fly him around here in the garage because it's a little bit of a wind. There's a little bit of a breeze outside, I should say. I might try to fly it out there. But you know, we only have about four and a half minutes flight time with the Santa on top. So it won't be a whole lot of flight time, but it won't do real well in the wind. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't do very good with 360 flips with the Santa on top. So if I think of it, I may, land them real quick and take them off just so you can see how much better it does flips and flies with the Santa Claus uh, removed. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in as you saw them and remember I should say the sound is pretty loud, but it's kind of neat. I do like it, it's just hard to talk over it. So there's a, the Christmas music. Go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and up down to bind. It was doing a gyro calibration when it starts up, but to do one manually, you do both sticks down and to the right, and we see the lights flashing. Let's go ahead and take it up in the first and the low right. Does funnels nicely. Let's go to the high right. And the, uh, the yaw does increase in the, in the rates. Not sure why I lost some altitude there. I don't think I was given enough throttle. I'll try to do one flip here to show you with the uh, with the uh, Santa attached. So we'll try to do a flip back at me. See, it, it did it okay, but see, it fell to the ground. So fly it out here, just outside of the garage for a minute. Boy, it's instantly getting blown into the north breeze. So. It can't fly them very well outside. So you can do a funnel again. They're not so bad. I'm gonna back them up here and land them in my hand. I'm gonna pop the Santa Claus off from my pocket. Santa Claus is easy to uh, get knocked off and you can lose pieces too. Now this is in the highest I don't have it in the brick mode, which is the power saving mode. Let's do a flip now. See, really nice flips now. You don't have that extra weight and that top heaviness that the Santa Claus gives it. But, you know, you're losing that, you're losing that Christmas factor. But the Santa Claus off and just playing the music, it just doesn't quite have the effect. With the Santa Claus on, it just looks a lot neater. Just doesn't fly as well as you expect. Now flight time about four and a half minutes with the Santa attached. I think you can easily get over six minutes with it off and the uh, and then you enter into that the brick mode, the lower power mode. It doesn't need to use as much power with all that weight removed.
But really an indoor flyer, um, just don't have enough room in my house to really fly it and be able to see it very well. You got some breeze blowing into the house here, so that's obviously affecting the, uh, that's why it's kind of wobbling around on me. It's a neat little whoop. It's only like, you know, I think it's probably around, it's under, it should be under 15 bucks. Um, I know the JGRC runs around 13. Um, I haven't checked the Banggood list on this one. It should be similarly priced, I would think. You can see we're getting the low voltage, the blue in the back and the red in the front. It still usually flies about a minute still, so it's not ready to land. It's just letting you know a little early. So you can load up on these batteries. If you want to fly it around at a Christmas party, it would be pretty cool. Um, because you take the sand off on a Christmas party, it's going to not have near the wow factor. It's just, you know, be unfortunate that it doesn't get a little longer flight time, but you can't expect it to fly too long with that extra weight. See, it's kind of wanting to come down, then it gets a little more power back, but still flying pretty good. So I'd say, you know, Christmas time, fly it with the sand on. Just don't try to do flips. If you want to do some flips, because those are kind of fun on these little whoops especially. I'm usually not a huge fan of flips, but on the whoops they are. Um, definitely do it uh, with the sand off. That breeze just keeps blowing here in the garage and it keeps knocking the sand around. It's just so, such a lightweight little guy that uh, it just can't handle any kind of wind. Go ahead and unplug here before I finish it up because it is hard to talk over that music. If you really want to make this guy into a, a fun little whoop, you know, and you don't want to mess with the music, especially after Christmas, you know, disconnect that uh, speaker in there and then, you know, that'll add runtime to it by not powering up that music, especially as loud as that is. And remove the Santa Claus. Um, one of my buddies, Phil, the Flying Tech RC, check out his channel. He um, has a JJRC version of this and he disconnected the speaker to remove that extra weight and power and then he took the Santa off and this top and he put a, uh, an AIO all on one camera on and was flying at FPV and it did really well. So you can easily mod and convert this into a little full tiny whoop for practically nothing more than you know the 15 bucks or so for an AIO cam and it worked really well. So be sure to check out his channel if you want to see that conversion. So that should wrap it up. Um, be sure to you know subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hope everybody has a nice Thanksgiving and uh, enjoy your Christmas and holidays coming up if you celebrate it. So that should wrap it up. The power of the dark side, 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 side.